Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, it's a movie. So the question I have for the day is, you know, um, it's 2024, a new year. Last year, in the black community, across the countries, across this country, this, this great country, America, um, there has been numerous events of black men not stepping up and even portraying them Violence, murders, all different types of things in their communities. So, my question of the day is, will African American black man bring peace to black communities in 2024? You know... Will African American say that again? Will African American males? It's not up to black women. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worrying about them. We ain't worrying about black women. Will black men? Will we bring peace to African American communities and to uh, when, when people see us, they see a peace in us. When we bring peace to the world, to America, that's my question. Um. Hit the comments. Let me know what you guys think. So, the thing about this is, is that black men in this country and and all these suburban cities, all of these cities, can anybody anybody on this video name one multi-million dollar black community you know what I'm saying where all the houses are multi-millions of dollars the neighborhood is completely safe you know um, ETC got a golf course basketball course I'm talking about black community a community of more than a hundred people you know what I'm saying can anybody name any communities if you can't then you gotta think to yourself that's a problem that is a big problem. You know, um, black men, a lot of these black men have have been listening to this so-called street code stuff and thinking you real, you got to go get some money. And all these older black guys from the 80s have failed you. All of these older black guys who started off gangbanging, I ain't talking about you new gangbangers who, who was born in 96 and 95. All of these guys have failed you. You know what I'm saying? Um, to a point where we can't even, we can't even be normal law-abiding citizens and think that it's okay. You know, um, somebody is going to have to fight somebody. Somebody's going to get jealous. Uh, we have this thing in the black community where there's a lot of black males want to. Uh, um, nobody wants you to be right. You know, um, um, a lot of these, a lot of these, um, a lot of black males, what they do is not all, but the majority because just because there's a few of us woken up, it takes the majority to bring change to the world. You know what I'm saying? Bring change to not only us, our children, you know. Um, well, let me ask you guys a question. How many of you guys know for a fact that your baby mom got your child? You be watching her on Facebook. You know she got you on child support and whatever. And, she, and your baby mom got your child listening to um um sexy red and and twerking to sexy red i know you guys seen it i know that these women that make these black children by themselves you know what i'm saying so i know you see this and the way we bring change in our community is stop like like 
like black women made the slutty era look cool. Okay. And black man, simp, beta male black man, by not having any backbone, helped help justify black women for what they're doing. They feel like they ain't doing nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which we know that, and we tell them, uh, from Kevin Samuels to other uh, people, we tell them continuously how how they are affecting the community, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, portraying in the failure and the destruction of successful black communities. Man, we don't need the police in our community. You know what I'm saying? We don't need, I mean, they could come through because we don't own the community. They can come through, but we can police our own communities. You know what I'm saying? We can have, we can, we can put our own, if we own the land, we can put street cameras on every corner and have somebody watching the cameras. Some real gangster stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys, I was watching this interview with this gang member. I ain't going to say his name. And he was interviewing this white, he was interviewing with this white guy. You know what I'm saying? And, um, 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 from No Jumper. And fucking, he was telling him that, uh, oh, his ops was up here. Uh, uh, the dude should have called him and told him to come up here so he could do something. And the white guy plainly told him that, no, we are not the same. We don't live by the same code. Like, basically, this dude just puts you in your place, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a man, you know what I'm saying? Most of, most of um, African-American black man, you guys are not men. You know what I'm saying? You guys care about what other black people are going to think about you. Oh, oh, I just called the police. Oh, oh, I can't call the police or or I can't stand up for this uh, old lady getting robbed or this old man getting robbed or this guy trying to uh, molest a child. There's a, there's a lot of real wicked stuff going on in black communities, man, that, that we should... We should be policing, bro. You know what I'm saying? We need to fucking have our own unit. We need our own cameras. We need our own camera system. We need our own properties in the black communities. You know what I'm saying? And then anything that goes on in the black communities, you got to go, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't need, uh, just like the government watches us, we need to watch us. You know what I'm saying? So everybody stop talking about, you know what I'm saying? Stop talking about white people and stuff like that when we don't even, when we see wrong being done, we don't do nothing about it. We don't do nothing about it. We sit back, we sit back and be like, oh, oh, this is how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there go his ops. Just like these famous rappers, Blueface pulling up to Soldier Boy's hood, allegedly. I don't know if it's real or fake. A lot of these rich guys, you know what I'm saying, like they be acting more than the actors do, you know, but you can't say, but you can't go off and say white people, white people. And I tell you guys, you can't say, you can't say white people, white people, white people, white people, if you're not living right. You know what I'm saying? I done seen a man, you see, most black men fail to think for themselves, you know, oh. I'm a gang member, so my ops is there. You should have told me. If this was a black dude, if this was a black dude that's unconscious and he said the same thing to this gangbanger, that gangbanger probably would have been beefing with him and or he would have called him and told him that, hey, bro, your officer up here, come on up here. You know what I'm saying? Without saying, I'm a man, I'm not into nothing. Like, stand to his face and tell him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, there's a lot of a, a lot of a, a lot of fake gangsterism going. There's, there's a lot of fake gangsterism going on in black communities, man. Like, why do you want to? You know what I'm saying? Like, what makes it so bad that you want to kill somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 what happens so bad you want to pull up on your ops? Like, you just have to prove yourself. You know. Um, but I thought it was more wiser to walk away from a fight than to fight.
You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand you got to protect yourself. I'm not saying being a, being a coward or nothing, because we know we got crazy people out here. Sometimes you got to defend yourself. But when it comes to going somewhere and looking for somebody, come on. We can't do that. We cannot do that. Um, I have guys come through the comments who are completely lost. And then those when they leave my channel, they probably got a little bit more sense than what they portraying. You know what I'm saying? They be, uh, oh, oh, this dude hair ain't cut right. And you know what I'm saying? Oh, you look like you was in a shelter in New York. Never been in New York City. Like, <laughs> like you guys, everybody wants to show. Everybody can't get the show. But everybody can be a a, a, a humanitarian and, and uh, a love humanity. We need to stand up. We need to clean up. We need to start venting for doing the right things. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, how else you going to – all the racist people who actually is killing black people, you know what I'm saying? All the racist people that actually is against you and stuff, they ain't worrying about being against you right now. Because we're killing each other. They're like, look at these fools. We just seen the 215 or 40, 15 um, unmasked graves in Mississippi. You know, how can you pay attention to what's really going on if you are in war? You know what I'm saying? You're in war for nothing. You guys are crazy, man. Um, it's crazy. And it's not a movie. You know, that's not a movie, but I'm going to holler at you guys next time, man. I appreciate you guys for rocking with your boy. This your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mel 2.0, reporting live from an undisclosed location. Coming to the city near you. Over and out.